I'm gay. I deadass feel like I'm coming out again. There can't possibly be a weirder feeling in the world. I do not know how I do not remember this conversation word from word. I don't know if maybe I suppressed it, but if I do remember correctly, the last time I spoke to my ex-boyfriend, to the guy who, you know, made a nigga realize things, I'm pretty sure that the last thing he said to me, like one of the last things he said to me is, I don't even think you're bisexual. I think you're just gay. And he has said that to me a couple times throughout our relationship thing. And I can't even begin to explain how mad that made me. How offended I got when he said that to me. And when he said that to me on the phone that night, mid-November, I think it was November 17th, about a month and a half before I came out as bisexual. Once he said that on that phone call, I think I shut down and then I was just quiet. I think I told him, you know what, I'm just gonna go to sleep or some shit like that. I do believe that's the last time I heard his voice. And we spoke on Facebook um, a couple weeks after I came out. I didn't tell him that I came out. I, I don't know if he even knows that I did. It was good at first and then other shit popped off. I got so mad, y'all. <laughs> That made me so mad. And it only made me so mad because it was the truth. That was another part of myself I don't think I was ready to face. And I've never had anyone give me the blunt, honest truth. That's me, Scorpio to the max here. I will always give you the blunt, honest truth. And I never had another person in my life willing to give me the blunt, honest truth. Obviously besides, you know, my parents. And he was a good old Scorpio too. He always told me the truth. And when it was too true, when I didn't like it, pissed me the fuck off. And then I had to stop myself like, wait, now Trey, let's not be a hypocrite because it's the same ass motherfucking shit you do. I can't even explain how much I love him for always telling me the truth, man. Even when I didn't like it, I just, man, my nigga. I thought I was bisexual, or at least I wanted to be, but I am very much so gay. I'm in this huge phase of self reevaluation, you guys. For those of you who don't know, I'm visiting home. I've been home for almost a month in Dayton, Ohio. Had to get away from LA for a little bit. I came home for Mother's Day and I was only supposed to be here a week and God said, no, uh, stay your ass there. There's just, there's so much more that you need to figure out about yourself that you need to realize and accept within yourself in order to get back to LA and get to work the way that you want to, the way that you need to, the way that you were put on this earth too. And I think this is my biggest phase of rebirth, as many phases of rebirth as I've had throughout my life. Last night, I, I wish I could explain how random this was. I, I turned up, had a wonderful night with my friends, drunk as fuck. My friends ended up going to sleep and I wasn't ready to. I set up my hookah and this pretty ass strobe light thingy and shut myself into one of my friend's bedrooms, drank my water and listened to my music and pondered. Just thought. And Brain by Banks played. That's one of my favorite songs ever. Banks is one of my favorite artists ever, by the way. Just love her, Gemini ass to, to fucking pieces. But Brain from her debut album, Goddess, played. And I replayed it. And I replayed it. And it just spoke to me in a way that the song has never spoken to me. And I said to myself, bruh, you're gay. <laughs> You've got to face this. I've known for a little bit that I'm, I'm not, in fact, bisexual. But I honestly didn't have any intentions of letting the world know. I was just like, you know what? They already know that I'm some form of the LGBT community. They don't need to know everything. As long as I know it, then I'm good. That's not working for me. That's not working for me. If I can't be, if I can't be completely honest with you all about me, about my sexuality, I, I, like I just can't be honest with myself. And I felt like shit. I feel like shit for misrepresenting the bisexual community. Seeing as the bisexual community is one of the most misunderstood communities within my LGBT family. It's, it's just people don't believe in it. Once I realized I wasn't bisexual, I was just like, well shit, fuck, what do I do? I'm, I'm already this, this safe haven, this light of, of hope for so many people who are starting to believe it, starting to believe in themselves, people who are actually bisexual, because bisexuality is real. It is visible. It is valid. And the bisexual community does not deserve me. It, it doesn't deserve a spokesperson of sorts, representation of sorts that's not, in fact, bisexual. I don't know, it was hard. 
it was hard to really come to terms with it. It was hard to really come to terms with the fact that I can't continue to represent this community. I can't continue to falsely represent this community, this beautiful, beautiful community. And I'm sorry for misrepresenting the community. I'm not perfect. As perfect as I look, as good I am at giving advice and speaking to people. I'm just not perfect. I'm very, very human, very sensitive to human emotion, but I'm trying. I'm not perfect, but I'm trying. That's all I can do, bro. I just want to be happy, as does anyone, and I can't be happy if I'm not honest. So here I am. This may not seem like a big deal to some of you, but I promise you, if you love me, if you if you care about me and my well-being, this is so big. Thank you. Thank y'all so, 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 so much for believing in me and sticking with me through thick and thin. I can't even express just how grateful I am for you. I hope that this inspires someone, because that's why I do it. Me inspiring you inspires me. Me helping you helps me. I know that there are going to be many of you who resent me for this, and that's okay. If you have a problem with me being gay, you can fuck off. Like the unsubscribe button, it's just... It's right there. And I know that me holding on to this idea of being bisexual was merely, I hate to say it, but hey, we're all human here. A form of internalized homophobia and self-hate. Just my way of clinging onto my closet. A little chunk, a little piece of my closet. I wasn't completely ready to face my truth, but now I am. Mask on, fuck it, mask off. That's it. I just figured you should know. I love you.